conclusion that it is you. Yes, it is. Thank you. Right. And so again, for the record, state your name and also the organization you're representing. Yes, thank you. Good evening, uh, Chair Kiffmeyer, members of the committee. My name is Jean Massey, Executive Director of Fair Vote Minnesota. We are a nonpartisan organization that promotes ranked choice voting in Minnesota. I'm also an election judge. Since 2009, we have documented the experience of ranked choice voting in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and St. Louis Park. And contrary to some of the claims that have been made tonight, uh, more than 545,000 ranked choice vo voting ballots have been cast. Voter participation has consistently increased under ranked choice voting, and voters overwhelmingly say ranked choice voting is easy to use and more civil, and that they prefer it over the old system. Bloomington and Minnetonka voters adopted ranked choice voting this past November, and more cities want to adopt it but can't under current state law. Senator Eakin's bill, Senate File 2018, solves this problem by letting all local governments adopt ranked choice voting if they wish. Senate File 708 does just the opposite. Why would the legislature thwart local driven efforts to do what they believe is in their own best interest and seek to overturn the vote of citizens deciding how they want to run their local elections? We urge you all to vote no on Senate File 708. Thank you very much.